bloggers, YouTubers, social media influencers, social media professionals and amateurs. We have them all over the internet and we all love to be one of them. But legally speaking, we need to ensure that while we engage in social media activity, we are legally protected, we are within the ambit of the legal framework and we are not infringing another person's rights or privileges. In this video, I am going to discuss the legal provisions and the legal safeguards you as a social media professional, a YouTuber, a blogger, an Instagrammer or an influencer need to keep in mind while you are busy making your videos, your photographs, your social media content. While we are all protected under Article 19.1a of the Constitution of India, that is the freedom guaranteed to every citizen, to freedom of speech and expression, one ought to remember that such freedom is protected and governed by the reasonable restrictions under Article 19.2 of the Constitution of India. Now, one may enjoy freedom within the meaning of 19.1a, and enjoy personal liberty within the meaning of Article 21 of the Constitution. But one needs to understand very carefully that these are subject to reasonable restrictions and you need to protect yourself. You need to ensure that you are not violating somebody else's rights or privileges. While you would be more familiar with the, the more common reasonable restrictions like contempt of court, expressions of speech violating or infringing the integrity or sovereignty of India or the security of state or public order. You also need to understand that public decency and morality is a fundamental question that you need to keep in mind, a fundamental consideration that you need to observe while you make videos or take photographs for social media. This could result in both civil and criminal action against you if you land up violating provisions of the penal code and other laws for the time being in force. While we always look at reasonable restrictions, there are several other laws that you would want to consider. A very classic case of this is that of the laws of intellectual property and more particularly the Indian Copyright Act. While we put up footage on the net, while we put up photographs, videos or other content on the net, we need to be sure that this content is original for one. This content is our personal footage and is not a violation of somebody else's intellectual property rights or copyrights in particular. One needs to understand the provisions of infringement within the meaning of Section 51 of the Copyrights Act and also understand what is permissible use or what could be legally used within the ambit of Section 52 of the Copyrights Act. You would also like to be careful when it comes to patents and trademarks. These are also the intellectual property of various individuals, persons or bodies corporate. While you include such footage or include such content that contains intellectual property, be it copyrights, patents or trademarks, you would either want to disclaim it or ensure that you have the relevant assignments or licenses to use such agreements, failing which you could be liable for infringement of such intellectual property rights. Now when it comes to photography and videography, a subject that everyone loves on social media, we always want the best frame, the best backdrop to have ourselves covered. But while we do that, we need to be cautious about trespass. While we move into property, we need to be careful to ensure one, that property is not private property because you could be liable for trespass in cases of entering on private property without the permission of the owner and taking photographs or shooting videos. One may also be careful that anything in the background does not amount to a prohibited place within the meaning of the Official Secrets Act, else you would be liable for prosecution under the Act. Going a step further, while we all like to review things on the net, influencers and bloggers love to comment on various aspects of things, one needs to be careful 
that while you go off with that, you do not get into the trap of defamation. Because while you may land up criticizing something or a product or a service, please be careful that you do not land up with defamation because this could land up with civil or criminal action against you. And worse still, if it is corporate defamation. Such aspects of defamation could land up with severe legal consequences and ramifications and you need to be cautious that free and fair criticism does not trespass or transgress onto the domain of defamation. And lastly, while we're at this, something that you would also want to look at is the Information Technology Act. This act provides rules and regulations on the use of information technology and you would want to make certain that you are not in violation of any of the provisions of this act. These are simple cautions and guidelines that you need to keep in mind while you make your videos and you make your posts for social media. Make sure you enjoy posting, you enjoy spreading the good word, but you are not infringing any rights of any persons or in breach of any laws for the time being in force.